Well, I don't even have to say anything. Right at the beginning here, we have the Batmobile is back. Yes, the Batmobile is back, guys. Hit the like button if you love your family. And honestly, hopefully we can get about two or five likes on this video, guys. I think we can. Let's like spike up this video to the heavens and beyond. And well, first off, the Batmobile is going way too slow. Let's pour some turbo on this thing. Let's take it out of 25 speed, put it up to 90, and let's get this thing going at the speed that it's required to go. Now, the Batmobile is one of the more functioning vehicles to be able to go at 200 miles per hour. Now, as you guys know, I have talked about the Batmobile on this channel so much since we received it in the Halloween update. The Halloween update, uh, I think it was last year that introduced the Batmobile. This update was so crazy because for the first time ever, we've seen one of the coolest like vehicles added into Brookhaven that was outlandish and over the top like we have never seen before. And that was, of course, this Batmobile. I got it decked out all white, all white Batmobile. Uh, but this thing looks beautiful in any color that you decide to use it for. You know, the typical normal black setting or you can make it white or you can make it red for the even. It, it doesn't matter. There's full customization of your colors on your Batmobile here. We can make a blue Batmobile. Look at that. Look at that, dude. That's so crazy. So, yeah, the Batmobile is just so darn cool. I must also note that this thing looks really good in just a dark gray like honestly it's a tie between the white and the dark gray and just like really making it pop and just be so fantastic and now all vip users in brookhaven can cruise around brookhaven looking stylish and over the top more than ever all year around the vip update included a lot of things and that was access to all the holiday vehicles from the previous events in brookhaven however there's a couple questions about this how do we get the santa sleigh and there's a few things that we need to go over in this video specifically and dissect while we look over all the VIP holiday vehicles, where to find them, how to utilize them, what you can do to them, and how you can upgrade them. So, as you guys know, the Batmobile looks absolutely crazy. But yesterday, I made a video on how you can actually upgrade your vehicles with the VIP awesome new props that was added. Yes, this does apply for all the holiday vehicles as well. If we hop out of our Batmobile here and we decide, hey, I want to make this thing a little bit more over the top and crazy. We go to props and we go here to our vehicle props. Once we have accessed this, we can now have an array of things that we can add. Now, while the Batmobile is already customized and upgraded to its max, I would say it's got to be. It's the darn Batmobile. But if we want to get even fancier, we can do that. We can add some lights to this thing. Uh, maybe like right here. Uh, okay, that looks a little rough. Okay, that does look rough. Oh, no. no, we need we need a straight placement. Boom, look at that. We got some lights on the top of it. I mean, it does look a little weird. I ain't going to lie. But you could turn the Batmobile in like a... Oh, didn't mean to get in it. Uh, into a police Batmobile by putting some lights on it. But they kind of just float, dude. So, I don't know. You guys really got to play around with the customization here. Let's see if we can put a new engine on this thing. Okay, kinda, kinda, but the Batmobile is already upgraded. It's really hard to do that. But what I wanted to note is you guys can still upgrade the holiday vehicles with your props if you can find a good combination. I wasn't able to do that, but uh, we can put some bikes on the Batmobile. Wow, dude, a Batmobile, Batman's going on a vacation, bike, a mountain biking. Who would have knew? Batman's got hobbies too. Batman's got things he likes to do. I mean, let's be honest. Why would he not? Why would he not? Why would he not have things he likes to do? Come on. Bat Batman's got hobbies too. Let's just be honest. But let's actually hop out of this thing and now go here. So if you want to find the VIP vehicles, they're going to be down at the bottom. And they're going to be in this section here, right away from the boat pack. So right here, you're going to notice a VIP section. While this is subject to change and there's going to be more stuff added to it, if we click this, we have all the vehicles here in all of their glory from the previous events. This does include, you guessed it, the egg hunt event 2024 and it also includes dating all the way back only a couple years not all the way back because i think we had various pumpkin mobiles but we only got one here then we got the monster truck now the crazy thing about this monster truck guys not only is it over the top but i should also note this guys it is over the top but one of the cool things about this thing is it can drive over vehicles so this thing is like crazy dude it will it will literally sometimes drive over vehicles now the batmobile is not gonna budge but this thing will drive over vehicles sometimes and it's crazy because this is probably the biggest like vehicle we have in brookhaven in terms of just like monster truck type vibe like it definitely brings that monster truck uh, thing and i would love to see brookhaven have like a monster jam or something that would be just crazy but uh if we go back here then we have one that has like a, it's a demolition derby halloween vehicle with a spider on the back 
Look at that, dude. It's got a spider on the back. And this thing can ram through anything. Look at it. It's designed to ram through anything. Now, while this thing is already customized too, we could put a turret on the top of this to make it even more of like an apocalyptic Mad Max demolition, demolitional like beast. But, um, and then we have the Batmobile. The Batmobile is finally here to stay. This was one of the biggest concern, guys. When we had the Halloween event, everybody wanted the Batmobile to stay. Everybody was so heartbroken when it wasn't here to stay because it was such a unique and cool vehicle that what really didn't even theme completely with Halloween but it was just so darn cool. So does that mean this year we're also getting a new superhero related like vehicle? I don't know. Could be. But just like that, if we scroll on down, we see the Easter event vehicles. Now these Easter event vehicles are fantastic. It includes a lot dating all the way back. Get, 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 get off the top there. Um, that be the case. We have the Eggmobiles. These are the, uh, the electric ones, which are some of the recent ones that we got this year. And then we have the crazy old school ones, all sizes of them. And this one is probably, actually, I said the monster truck was like one of the biggest vehicles, but this is the biggest vehicle in Brookhaven. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Dude, it is, it is definitely the biggest vehicle in Brookhaven, dude. Now, while this one doesn't have customization, remember, we got props. And now that we got props, we can actually probably put like a turret on the top of this thing, dude. Oh my god. I don't even know how I'm gonna do that. How can I? Oh my god, dude. I just put a turret on the top of it. I just put two turrets on the top of this thing. Dude, I got two turrets on the top of this thing. What is Oh my god, dude. I got two turrets on top of the largest vehicle. Now the electric one. Uh, that I think uh, that is introduced has laser beams already attached to it. But this one, we can add our own machine guns to it. So, <laughs> dude, I think Wolfpack always went over the top with these event vehicles. And I think it's so cool we now have access to them. But let's talk about Santa's sleigh. Ever since the VIP got introduced and we had access to all these holiday vehicles, everybody has been coming to my comments section and talking about, okay... Where is Santa's sleigh? It was technically a holiday vehicle as well, a flyable one, and we don't have that. Did Wolfpack forget to add it? Nope, it's actually over here. If you come over here and you press this button over here, you will be able to activate... Okay, there's no button over here. It was... Look, I don't know why the Santa sleigh is not here. Now, previously for Christmas, Santa Slay would always appear here for premium users to be able to gain access to Santa Slay. Santa Slay allowed the players to be able to fly through the air, delivering presents as their role plays desired. However, for some reason, in this pack, we did not get Santa Slay. Why is that? Well, one, it is a flyable vehicle, so it it it, it flies. So maybe Wolfpack didn't want to add that just because then like people could just spawn in flying vehicles and then it's not even Christmas and people would be flying through the air in a Santa sleigh. It would kind of take away from like the the experience and the the like, I don't know, the feel of Brookhaven. Imagine, imagine it's New Year's and you see Santa still flying through the sky. It's Easter and he's still flying through the sky. It wouldn't make sense. And plus, we wouldn't have nothing to look forward to. So I think maybe Wolfpack was like, mm, played around with the idea, but decided Santa sleigh just doesn't make sense to add in there. However, it is kind of contradicting itself because the, the, the VIP and the access to the holiday vehicles, the purpose was to give us all the holiday vehicles. Santa Slate falls into that category, I would like to think. But for some reason, that did not get included on the list. Now, if I see some of these vehicles going around Brookhaven like the Bunny Mobile, I am going to be questioning, why is that going around Brookhaven if it's not Easter? But not as much as I would be if it was Santa Slay. Santa Slay is like its own thing on its own, and I feel like... That is going to be something we just get when Christmas is here. Now, last Christmas, we got the Christmas update paired with one of the biggest Brookhaven updates yet, which was the Ocean Edition, adding an ocean to Brookhaven. Now, that was just unbelievable. I still want Christmas events at our doorstep. I want to be able to deliver presents or collect presents that the elves have lost. You know, maybe like, oh, no, the elves have lost all of Santa's presents accidentally and we have to collect all the presents in Brookhaven to save Christmas. I want it so bad. And hopefully 
Wolfpack considers adding something where we can help gather the presents for Santa for this year and create a little Easter egg hunt type thing again for Christmas because we do know the three holidays that strike the most in Brookhaven are without a doubt Easter, Halloween, and Christmas. And I feel like if all three of them had their own special events, that would be so, so cool. So let's cross our fingers and hope maybe this year we'll have that and the Santa sleigh will return. But at the current moment, guys, with the VIP game pass, you're not going to be able to get Santa sleigh. I hope I cleared that up and kind of can put a stop to all the questions and that helped you guys with that as well. So with that aside, love you guys. Will you be buying the VIP game pass? And I will see you guys in the next one. Comment below saying I made it if you made it to the end of the video.